Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this chain where it looks like it's woven, like this goes on top and this is behind. And this is really easy, but it's a little confusing. And I'm not saying you'll ever make a chain, but some of the steps might help you get some ideas for some other things. So I've, I've drawn a rectangle. Let's zoom in here for a second. I'm going to grab the shape tool and click on it. And it actually gives me a curve. Now I'm going to go right here to my contour. Contour through this opens up. I'm going to go a quarter of an inch to the inside. Now select them both. Go to arrange, break contour apart. Select them both. Go to arrange, hit combine. They both turn red. Now we're going to go control D and make a duplicate. We're going to double click on it and put our rotation in the center. And as always, it doesn't look like it gets in the center, but it actually is. We're going to rotate this 15 degrees. We're going to make another duplicate. Control D. Make sure our rotation gets to the center. And we're going to rotate this backwards. So we need to go 345 degrees, which is 15 or 6, 600, 360 minus 15. Now, we want to take our smart fill tool and we want to fill in just you got to kind of imagine we want to leave that one blank so this time we want to leave the top one blank and this chain isn't going to look all that good but the principles are here it could be a little bit thicker so now this is where the nudge distance helps you i've got my nudge distance set on four inches I'm going to nudge that black down. I'm going to nudge all my black sections down. Okay, and as you can see, we've got the links that go behind the chain. I'm going to left click, taking away the fill. I'm going to take my Virgil segment delete key. Yes, this is not going to be a very good looking chain. If I was doing it for myself, I might start over. So just get a right way of all these weird pieces go to your smart fill tool and fill in these two pieces now let's cursor down in what you've done you you've made single units we don't need this anymore so we'll hit delete we'll go to our chain and we'll left click and I'm going to right click red and there's a there's a reason for that so now I'm going to select this one which is a whole unit I'm going to go to the contour tool. I'm going to contour this time just 0 0.035 to the inside. I'm going to take this one and do the same thing. Now I'm going to break the contour apart. And I want to take away the red. That's why I wanted it red. So I can see the red disappear and I know that's right. Now... We can take away this chain link and let's fill this in with black and black and no, no line. So I'm going to right click my mouse to get rid of the line. We don't really even need this link anymore. I'm going to take this link. I'm going to group it together. Control G. Now this is where your nudge distance helps you. Now I'm right back where I was. And as you can see, I've got the separation there. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of this control D. I'm going to hit my rotation. I'm going to put it in the center. We'll double check it. And I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees now, skipping that other one. Control D. I'm going to go 60 degrees. And then control, control, Corel Draw will help you or let you do that all the way around. Now this one I'm going to control D. Double checking it's in the center. We're going to rotate it 30 degrees. Control D. This time 60 degrees. And then Corel should let you just keep going all the way around. And there you have it, that quick.
This looks like it goes on top. This looks like it's on the bottom or vice versa. Now you could play around with it more and have, you know, thicker lines, better, more contours, make your chain a little bit thicker. Uh, but there you have it, how to make a circle chain or it doesn't have to be a circle. It could be a straight line. And I hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.